Congratulations, Monsignor Tom Tank. Thank you for being such a great priest and a great leader here in the Archdiocese. And personally, I'm very grateful for your friendship. I just wanted to offer congratulations to Father Tom on his 50th anniversary, an amazing milestone. And um, Father Tom's just uh, been instrumental um, both in Amy and I's personal life um, as well as in the life of Kansas City, Kansas. And when I came to Church of the Ascension in 2012, I was a newly ordained priest and Father Tom was the pastor who was with me since the beginning, so he, he taught me a lot. I mean, 30 years ago, he used to come to my high school class and it was always a favorite day when Father Tom came in. Even though um, I have known Father Tom, Tank, uh, for the past 12 years, I'm actually blessed uh, to be working with him uh, in the past year as his associate here at Ascension Parish. When I was uh, first told to come here, I was a little scared uh, about the parish and the work and uh, how Father Tom Tang can be sometimes demanding. Uh, but uh, being here with him and working with him I have come to know he is a very caring, very compassionate, very loving priest. Um, he is a very humble and quiet leader. That's something I will always cherish and try to imitate in my own life. Well, happy anniversary, Father Tank. Uh, I owe you so much. My family owes you so much. Uh, when I met you, I wasn't even Catholic, and you work with me and help me understand uh, what the Lord had planned for me and uh, baptizing my kids and Mary and Debbie and I and uh, best me at my ordination uh, those things uh, never forget I'm forever grateful of the way the Lord has moved in your heart and moved through my family just being here a short time here at Church of the Ascension as a staff member I've just learned so much from Father Tom he pushes the limits to folks, especially as staff members. He challenges us. For 32 years, it was my privilege to work with you at the Archdiocese. You were my leader, my mentor, and my friend. Monsignor Tank is, has had an incredible impact on the life of the Archdiocese. He's a, been a great pastor for several parishes. But he, he's also influenced uh, the whole culture of the Archdiocese. And he's influenced it in a way in terms of the Archdiocesan staff here. He's helped to form them in a way that they see themselves at the service, really, of our parish communities. And this comes from his own servant leadership model. When I think of Father Tom and his impact, it's always been in his role as pastor. Um, you know, for our family, you know, uh, baptizing our oldest son, um, to being a pastor that caused us in, in our faith commitment and really so many throughout the diocese to reach out from the church doors um, into the neighborhood around St. Peter's Cathedral and forming community housing of Wyandotte County at the time, Catholic housing of Wyandotte County. It was Father Tom's vision, but it, it was his passion to have us come together um, and really reach out to the broader community around St. Peter's and the impact of that has been absolutely immense in offering um, great home ownership opportunities to families from all over Kansas City, and quite frankly, all over the world. At Catholic Housing and Community Housing of Wyandotte County, you were responsible for starting an organization that revitalized the urban core of Kansas City, Kansas, the home that I have called home for my entire life. Over the years, Monsignor Tom has touched many lives with God's healing graces. None of us could have imagined the impact Christ Renews His Parish would have when we accepted that invitation from Father Tom to go to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We all have had our lives transformed by the experience of the Holy Spirit. He was always there calling us back. We didn't recognize Him until we took time to remember all of our blessings and ask for forgiveness. From those early days to now, over 25 parishes and literally thousands of adults in Kansas and Missouri have had their faith awakened due to the way that Father Tom embraced Christ News His Parish here at Ascension. At every opportunity, Father Tom has truly demonstrated his desire to dedicate his life and love for the good of the gospel and others. 
We, the women and men of the Alpha Team, on behalf of all of those who have attended a Christ Renews His Parish weekend, want to say with heartfelt thanks, thank you, Father Tom, thank you so much for dedicating your whole life to our faith. Congrats on the first 50 years. May the Lord always be merciful to you, make His face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and bring you His peace. One of the most precious moments that um, I've shared, or Craig and I have shared with Father Tom, was um, during our trip to the Holy Land with him in 2011. We had um, the privilege and honor of having a very special Mass at Emmaus and um, which was um, so very powerful because of the story of the apostles walking with the Lord to Emmaus and um, how they recognized Christ in the breaking of the bread. Father Tom said Mass at Emmaus and for all of us present he truly did make Christ visible to us and real to us through the breaking of the bread. Monsignor Tom once told me that all he wanted to do was be a parish priest, not an NBA basketball player, not president of the United States. All he wanted to do was serve the Lord and serve his community. Father Tank has produced tremendous good fruit, and I think it's our challenge to go forth and continue to produce good fruit and um, reflect well upon him. My favorite thing about Father Tom is that he's brave. The new priest sometimes can be overwhelming and scary. I'm proud to call him a priest of the Archdiocese. Very grateful for his friendship and the way that he mentored me, particularly in my first years here in the Archdiocese. And I, I just pray that the Lord will bless him and bless us with many more years of his priestly service. Father Tom has enriched the lives of all of those that he's touched um, in a direct faith experience um, through his services as a pastor in a church. But he's touched so many lives um, outside the doors of that church in a community like Kansas City, Kansas, and has made such an amazing impact. And it's a testament to the power, I think, of our faith through unbelievable leaders like Father Tom that we're able to make an impact on the world around us. As a parish member with my husband, we are just so blessed to have Father Tom as a pastor, as a shepherd, and as our leader. When I see him, I'm reminded of God the Father in the way, you know, he's always firm, meaning he's a rock, somebody you can lean upon, and he's always stable, he's always there. And at the same time, he combines that with a great gentleness of heart, extra care, really going the extra mile. Father Tom Tank has been an incredible shepherd to us all here at Ascension Parish. We are so blessed and so honored to be here and celebrating 50 years of his priesthood. Father Tom has meant so much to our family and families of so many around the entire Archdiocese of Kansas City. In fact, so many people are envious, I guess I should say, they have holy envy because Father Tom is our pastor and we've had the opportunity to grow with him in our faith life over the years. Father Tom, congratulations. I just wanted to let you know how much I admire everything about you, um, spiritually everything, but also I am so impressed always with your knowledge, expertise, financial background. There is nothing that you don't know. I always come to you and I never ever second guess you because every time I do, you have proven me wrong. You are always right and I am just amazed at your knowledge and memory. Father Tank, uh, one of the great privileges of my life was to get to go to your seminary that you graduated from and to walk those halls and see all the pictures there of all your classmates. and the yes that you made uh, there over and over again and continue to make has changed uh, so many parishes, our archdiocese, my life, my family's life, the way the Lord ran through that yes into my heart and so many others to bring a yes out of them has had the Holy Spirit just sweep through our archdiocese. I remember um, the first day when I arrived at uh, uh, the Ascension Rectory I thought he would let me 
sleep or take rest and take it easy. But you, you took me to the parish hall when they were having garage sale and you made me to work uh, packing up all the unsold stuff uh, and you put me to work that day. So then I realized uh, to be with Father Tom Tang means to work. Father Tom, you are a spiritual energizer bunny. You know, sometimes I think, who's supposed to be the youngest here? I mean, I, I'm tired and he keeps going. He's really a tank. But then maybe I put it in perspective, I'm celebrating five years of priesthood very soon and he's celebrating 50. So a five-year-old compared to a 50-year-old, I can understand why he has all this energy, this wisdom, and this strength that comes definitely from above. So those of us on staff and in the lay leadership in the parish have all experienced at one time or another the phenomenon uh, that we refer to as the Father Tom wince, when maybe he's not crazy about an idea that you're proposing and he, rather than coming out and directly telling you, just goes like this. And you know when you see that wince that you probably better go in a different direction. Congratulations, Father Tom, um, on your 50th anniversary and I, I hope um, it's a wonderful one. I'm on Senior Tank. I just wanted to say happy 50th anniversary and it has been such a pleasure working with you almost 20 years. And I wish that God will continue to bless you and the people of the Archdiocese with another 20 years of your service. Thank you. Father Tom, in behalf of all of the people that you have been a prayer partner to, a um, spiritual mentor, uh, we say thank you. We thank you that you said yes. And by you saying yes, you've inspired many of us to say yes to Jesus Christ in various ways. You've even converted some of our maybes to come to yes. Uh, and I thank you. And uh, we have been transformed and inspired by you. He's done such a, an amazing job and I will always be thankful for that because the priest I am now, I owe that to him too. Father Tank, thank you for your tremendous service. You are truly filled with the Holy Spirit and you've helped so many lives and so many families and you love the church, you love Christ, and you love the Lord above all else. Thank you Father Tom for baptizing me and for all the other people you baptized. Thank you, happy anniversary. Thank you from the Carroll family. Thank you from the thousands and thousands of people whose lives you have touched by showing us the way, the truth, and the life. Thanks, Monsignor Tom, and hope you have a great day, great celebration. God bless. Congratulations, Father Tom, on your 50 years of priestly ordination. Thank you, Father Tom, for your love, for your guidance, uh, for your um, uh, companionship, uh, and also, uh, at a larger scale, your contribution uh, to our Archdiocese and um, to this parish here at Ascension and also many other parishes who have been blessed uh, to have your service and your um, ministry. Thank you, Father Tom, for all you've done. You've been an incredible, incredible pastor. We love you very much. Congratulations on 50 years and here's to many, many more. Congratulations. And as we say at the end of ordination, once you are ordained, ad multos annos. Congratulations again on your 50th.